The 1992 baseball team's accomplishments as one of the top teams in the 50-year history of Florida Tech baseball is even more amazing considering the adversity it overcame. Injuries to several starters and a difficult start to the season did not prevent the Panthers from making history. Led by head coach Les Hall, Florida Tech went on to win the program's first NCAA Division II South Atlantic Championship and advanced to the final eight of the NCAA tournament. When the dust finally settled, Florida Tech finished the season with a 28-22 overall record. Ranked 22nd in the nation and number three in the South Atlantic region, the Panthers upset nationally ranked number five South Carolina Aiken 6-4 in the first game of the regional tournament. Alan Green came through with a bases loaded single in the top of the ninth inning. Jeff Faino won his fourth straight in his ninth complete game, scattering six hits and retiring 13 straight hitters from the first through sixth innings. In the following game against nationally ranked number two Armstrong Atlantic State, Florida Tech had to rally. Trailing five to one in the fourth inning, Phil Campbell cracked a two-run double and Mark Vendetti hit an RBI ground out to tie the game. Vendetti delivered again in the sixth inning with a two-run single to break the tie, leading to the 7-5 win. Scott Booza earned the win, pitching seven and two-thirds innings of four-hit relief. Florida Tech met South Carolina Aiken one more time in the South Atlantic Region Championship. Down 2-0, Joel Steffens hit a grand slam. The Panthers were gone to win 7-2 and advance to the championship portion of the NCAA tournament for the first time in school history. Phil Campbell was named Outstanding Player of the South Atlantic Regional. Scott Brown, Jeff Driscoll, Jeff Faino, Mike Hannon, Joel Stevens, and Mark Vendetti were also named to the All-South Atlantic Region Tournament team. However, the Panthers' magical season was a total team effort, with every member providing major contributions. The pitching staff was phenomenal, recording a 2.68 ERA. Individually, Jeff Faino was superb on the mound with a 2.48 ERA and 19 appearances. Faino pitched in a team-high 145.1 innings, recording a team-high 112 strikeouts. Scott Boozer added a team-high 23 appearances all in relief with a team-best 1.90 ERA. Alan Green chipped in five victories and a 2.82 ERA. At the plate, Mark Vendetti led the team with a 293 batting average. Jeff Driscoll provided the power with a team best nine home runs. Driscoll's 29 extra base hits led the club as well. Mike Hannon contributed seven stolen bases and 19 RBIs. 20 seasons have elapsed since the baseball team's historic season. The 1992 team's achievement remains the best in program history. Uh, my name is Les Hall and I was a baseball coach at Florida Tech for 25 years <laughs> and I enjoyed every bit of it. I, I had, had a lot of good teams at Florida Tech and I had a lot of good individual players at Florida Tech and it was just a, just a blessing for me and uh, this team was, was the best to do things on their own and, and uh, it was just good. Everybody on that team got along together and played together and just, just had good times. And uh, it was a blessing for them to go up to Savannah and play. We had seven guys make first team all reason team up at Savannah. Seven guys out of nine or ten. Yeah, yeah we had the, the guy that played third base for our team in the tournament, he started off the, 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 the season as a right fielder. Something happened to our third baseman, he got hurt, and we had to move, move Mike into uh, third base. And he played so good in the, the three games at Savannah that the third base umpire actually, as soon as the last game was over, the third base umpire reached down on the ground picked up the base and gave it to Mike and told him to take it home with him. We had um, two outstanding left-handed pitchers. Joel Stevens is from Merritt Island. He, he was a good hitter, which he did a, a DH for us a lot of times, but he, he was an excellent left-handed pitcher. Jeff Faino was from the New England area. 
he got drafted by the Red Sox, played a couple years in the minor leagues. He, he was real good in that tournament. And uh, they were a blessing to our team. And any left-hand pitcher that's good makes the team a lot better. And those two guys were really good, and both of them pitched excellent in that tournament. We had a lot of good players that uh, just played hard. And actually, we had four guys that started for us at the beginning of the year that got hurt. And the guys that took their place, it, it was amazing that, what, what they did. 25 years, a lot of teams. 25 years, a lot of years. And I was very successful almost every, every one of those years. And that's true. And I want to say good luck to you.